Learn to create an action game in Unreal Engine 5 at unfgames.com Want to know what you can make in Unreal Engine 5 by only using the free for the month assets in the marketplace? Hello y bienvenidos! And in this spooky video we will be creating a shooter game by only using the October free for the month assets. Make sure to grab them before the month ends or you might miss them. This video is a showcase, so I will show you the overall process of developing a game but I won't get into the details of the implementation. With that being said, let's start! The first step is checking out the content that has been released for free in this map. That will let me decide which type of game could be easily made with the assets that I got. After importing the assets in my blank project, I noticed that a shooter could be a good fit. The way that the game will work is that there will be a monster that will be constantly following me. I cannot deal damage to this monster unless I pick up all the pumpkins that are around the map. The first thing that I will do is create a test map. Here I will test anything that I want to know that it is working properly. Now I will create the pickups that I will be using for the pumpkins. I need to save the number of pumpkins that I have collected and I will do this in the game mode because in the game mode I will check if we have enough pumpkins in order to defeat the monster. Whenever the monster is defeated, then I will proceed to play a death animation on it. So I will need to create an enemy blueprint and inside it I will create an enumerator that will hold the state of the enemy. This way I will know if it's idling, if it's dead, if it's following me, so on and so forth. Now I just need to test it and see that it is working correctly. Because the monster could be out of my vision, I will make the camera focus it so the player doesn't miss the death animation. If I was participating in a game jam, the next step will be the start game UI and the end game. I do this because now I could tell anyone that I made a game, very simple one but at least it has a start and a finish. But we do need some mechanics. We need obstacles for our goal, which is just collecting the pumpkins, and these obstacles will be the zombies. Zombies will be all around the map, and I need to be able to shoot them. So another mechanic will be the ability to shoot the zombies, do damage, and defeat them. Now that I can damage the zombies, the zombies should be able to damage me also so I will need to add the functionality to be able to receive damage. And when I die, then the end screen should appear. After this, I will be placing all the zombies inside my map by using the marketplace asset for despawning. And we are nearly done. The only thing that we need to do now is create the monster that will be following us and making it follow us. Because eventually we are gonna outrun this monster I will make it so whenever we run outside the range of the monster, the monster will appear in front of us. That way we can create a little jump scare and stop the game from getting boring. If I had more time, I would dedicate more time to the development of the AI of the monster that is chasing us. But for now, this simple logic will do. Now it's just a matter of polishing, for example, the emergence of the boss, then tweaking some values, adjusting the spawn locations and damage of the zombies. After testing and fixing bugs, what I would need to do is add some sound effects. But in this month, Epic didn't give us any sound effects so I'll take the easy way out and won't add any. With this we have finished the mini game and I have shown you what you can do with Unreal Engine 5 just using the epic free for the month assets. Hopefully you found this video entertaining and if you would like me to do a deep dive on this little game, be sure to tell me in the comments, maybe I can stream it or something. So that will be for today and I'll see you next time.